I just wanted to go on here on the record, uh, 1553, uh, on Tuesday, April the 23rd. Anybody's looking at this screen right there, you'll see something happening that just ain't damn normal. Keeping in mind, I've been dealing with the damn United States Embassy in Ukraine for 15 years. Ain't found nothing positive as the independent, non-criminal business entity in Ukraine on an American property. If you think I'm kicking my government, you're wrong. I'm kicking the damn communication systems that we use in as Americans, because that's my damn job. It don't take a rocket scientist to figure out we have a problem with the damn uh, spectrum that we manipulate in this damn antiquated binary communication system. Ladies and gentlemen, these idiots has been running this wire which is directly controlled by the oversight for the State Department via something called the Broadcast Board of Government, Governors. Uh, I'm speaking well within purview of whom I be. First born, I'm American in the state of Florida. And on the record one more time, I'm tired of my government not doing its job. It's been 11 years. Ain't nobody allowed me to write to do nothing except react to criminal assholes in government. Well, I'm gonna tell you honest. It ain't my intent in life to go around kicking idiots anymore. I've been doing it for 36 years. It ain't my fault. I don't know what to do because the damn government breaks its own law. I tell you what, somebody needs to get this stuff right. Because people are lying, cheating, stealing, doing all the things you do in the age of usury. There again, defending my right to speak. Don't you get it? There is no problem in the world except one. Officially cross border, it's called usury. <laughs> if you're a Christian, it's a crime. Don't know why ain't nobody listening. We paid the debt, set the plan in motion to fix it. And every day I listen to idiots and my government still break the law. But well, I don't want to listen no more. Uh, can't fix the wire, so be it. Just uh, continue to reduce the population to a bunch of mindless drones and, and continue to kidnap children and lie and cheat, steal to them from fake money. Good luck with that. Truth is, 13 days we could change the world. In 13 months you'd never remember the bag was there. That's what the real data says for a guy to design a quantum computer to give it a world for children. I'm tired of defending who I be to people in my own government. To the criminal assholes in the U.S. State Department, let's be clear. If you're a man or a woman and you have knowledge of my daughter being kidnapped and the other crimes that I've reported, and you hadn't done anything about it. Take heart. We live in a nation of laws. Or either we don't. Either way, the idea, the representative for my government with the specific message and mission, the specific mandate or any other variant of the juridical bullshit garbage we've done with changing the damn meaning of words down across the ages in a fake body of law that usurps the Constitution, so be it. I ain't no part of none of it no more. I'm under political asylum, my own country don't even know it. That speaks volumes about the success we've had at creating a communication system. 
So if anybody out here in the wired or wireless world understands what I'm saying, we're ready to go. We need one piece of paper signed and uh, we can start turning on the uh, quantum circuit with technology that belongs to Americans, sold to Americans with a 50% charity mandate. That's what I know today. I'm going to be quiet now. You couldn't make this up. It's too much like real life. So I'm here doing my job, waiting on somebody to do theirs.